So, Andrew. Clap, Jay lad. Clap. You've got to clap. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we're going to do a weird one that's a bit. It's been around forever, hasn't it? I'm going to say it's not weird for like for the time of the year, mate, is it? It's like devastating. Well, not devastating, it destroys venues. Yeah, it's a not nice thing. Not devastates venues. But it's a venues. venue, it's a method that's not done a lot. But I'm seeing it a lot at the moment because I've been to this forest lane. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. it is the world of the pea paste, isn't it? Which I'm going to give Neil, Neil Machen the accolade of the pea paste god back in day. Yeah, you having that? I see pea paste, I want to say. Um, Neil paste. was one of the ones for me, but pea paste, what we mean by that is little mini micro paste, which yeah. is venues like this, same again, lovely little venues. Where are we today? We're on Oasis at Hampton, which is our official new favourite to multi-species well, venue in the world. Well, it's because he's not lost anything here, yeah, have you? I like it here. <laughs> anyway, right. So yeah, we want to fish pea paste. I feel I'm rude, I've got my back is, to you all. Are you all right? We're chatting now. So, but it's a lovely way of fishing for everything it's yeah. a non-selective way of fishing paste yeah for when you're catching little left ones and little skimmers and little t little fish want to chuck over nasty bottoms yeah yeah yeah. and that's the thing isn't it paste fishing for me is like silty venues in it silty bottoms massively it helps fix a problem doesn't it yeah, yeah for definitely. some reason silt doesn't seem to be as bad a problem when you fish paste yeah well, it still can be a pain, but it's not. And today it's quite nice. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to fish micro pea paste and we're going to catch some fish. Oh, it's, the, it's the fact, isn't it, obviously, because the paste is everything, any other bait you normally put on. So you can tell when it's gone in a divot, when a fish has scoured it out, it's can't just, you? Everything's you can just like a little bit to yeah. the left and right and it sits right, doesn't it? Everything's good for it. Isn't it? I think it's got to be the most attractive bait to a fish as well, hasn't it? A lovely yeah. pile of attractants. I'll just um, eat the lot. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, right. What are we going to talk about? Here? I'm going to talk about kit. Brief on. one on kit. It yeah. looks. Pretty similar to how you just do a normal pelly rig, Jay. Pretty much. It's a soft pellet rig. Right, okay. Same yeah, as, yeah. there's no need for fanciness. You can either fish solid bulk or you can spread it. Yeah. There's no need for fan... Like you do with big paste when you need to get it to register and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Them it's big not... like antennae things with the body yeah, like that. Yeah, you don't need it because your bait's so small, so it's nice. So in this case, I've got my normal Tim Morsey floats on. Yeah. I've got a 4B14s for the depth. Yeah, yeah. Because I do want nice and heavy. I want anchorage. I want it to stay still. Just stable, yeah, And yeah. today we've got a mixer of rupper. I know, I like the way you're fishing though. It's proper like that, it. Jayla. Well, that's just to stop it moving because it's towing a bit here. So that's I've gone there so it stays there, still. It? Send me on the river, Peg. You usually go here. Yeah, that's what it was. But anyway, really, really simple. 4B14s, normal float. Yeah. Yeah, nothing fancy about that one. Yeah, mum. Shotted normally, exactly how I'd fish. Soft pellets, let me just move in. With a 16 hook on. Yeah, standard 16 pellets right, and okay. type hook. Yeah, yeah. So not big, but I that's important. Bigger, like. No, because I want it to slip through. I want me paste, oh, when me hook to slip through. You'll right. see what I mean when we start to talk about that a bit more. Right, so I want to go down pea pasty prep. And it depends what level you want to take it, if I'm completely honest. For me personally, I'd rather go in, back in the day rather, I'd go rather go in a lot more depth. And I'd sort of grind my own pellets. I'd have normal coarse pellets with some trout pellets added. That used to be the best paste for me, but now see it's so much easier just to rock up, get your bag of paste, and use it straight, pretty much straight from the bag. But there's a few things that I want to do to make it as sexy and as smooth as possible, which is really, really important, especially when we're fishing the pea. These little tiny, tiny bits, I want them to slip through my hook really, really easy. So you don't want the big, big air particles that you may get away with when you're using a big lump of paste, size 14, size 12 hooks. I mean, we need things a little bit more refined. So what I want to do is quickly show you how to do that. So I'll have two options for me, what I want to do. I either want paste of itself if it's a bit deeper. I want it a bit stickier to make sure it gets to the bottom. Or if I'm going to get sort of three foot or less, maybe four foot on a really nice calm day, I'll use ground bit on its own. I'd much rather use ground bit if I'm honest, just because I can feed the same thing then. But for today, what I'm going to do is get me paste and I'm going to get me a very, very sexy hairy gland in there. So if I was at home, I'd use it in a flower sieve. But what I'm after is getting any of them bigger bits out just to make it really, really, really sexy and fine. So I'm not going to do a load. I'm going to do a quarter of a bag. And what I want to do is literally get rid of all them bigger particles. So by just lovely in my hair ignat, you see that gets rid of all the big bits. And I end up with a beautifully smooth paste. And you can see these big bits that are left. It's all the massive big, or not massive big, but larger particles, just as you would with ground bait. All I'm doing is taking all the big bits out. So we end up with a much finer particle, really, really light, fluffy paste, as opposed to something that's a bit thicker, a bit stodgier that I may need if it were big paste fishing. So with that done, you see now how quickly this mixes. I end up with a beautifully smooth paste. 
which is so much better for as we're doing it today with that little P, little tiny 16 hooks. And I'm after a piece of paste, probably the size of a four or even six mil pellet. I mean, it just lends itself to a much nicer, finer paste that it's all about that hook pulling through. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of that. When it comes to little hooks, little fish, I mean, the fish we're catching, probably a pound, two pound at the most. I mean, that really lovely fine paste is definitely the way to go for me. So I'll do that, whether it's me, um, the paste mix or the ground bait, I'll do exactly the same thing. I mean, get myself a my nice dry net, riddle it off on that, unless I want to do it at home. And it just makes you mix, say, a little bit better, a little bit finer, a little bit easier to use. And the biggest thing for me, it means I miss less bites. I mean, a huge thing when paste fishing is making sure I'm as efficient as possible. So yeah, nothing fancy about mixing that paste, just make sure you get it as fine as possible. So what I will do now though, or probably while I'm fishing, I'll muck about with the texture of it. You know, I've mixed it once and it's a nice dry paste there. I'll probably have two or three different tubs, one with a sloppy version, one with a harder version, and one with a nice dry version and mix between the two. So it does make a big difference when you're fishing with paste. But first thing I want to talk about is plumbing up. Yeah, really, really, really important, but just as you would with soft pellets, I want to plumb up so it, it can register on a bristle if I want it to. Yeah, depending on what's going on. So I'm going to go in here. I've got my little marker. So I, obviously, in like normal pace fishing, you're using like the, the pace to set the flow. Is that what you're doing, or are you just going to plumb up, like halfway down the body? I'm just going to plumb like up to there. Oh, yeah, right, okay. pretty much. Oh, felt one then. Oh. I'm going to plumb up. I actually want to take a look at that flat. Yeah, there, that's where we want to be. So there's a little lump there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It comes a bit shallower there. Yeah. I want to be here. Right, lovely. Yeah, but I'm actually, I like that because I can put my paste in different areas of my peg there. Yeah. See how it's coming up a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That's actually, that's actually a slope, isn't it? Nice art, Jay. Look at that, it's a proper slope. So yeah, I'm just going to pick that spot there where I know it can anchor beautifully. Yeah, yeah but I've on got the... it shotted nice. I've got it Jay, shotted full. Are you going to catch them on the curve on it's, the paste? It's going to curve a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you're going to catch a perch on the curve, the way you're on the paste. Yeah, but nice. Did you get that? Yeah, middle of my body, of just so we'll do soft pellets. I like that. So yep. It's exactly the same, really, isn't it? There it is, yeah. Do you know I mean, just under my body. Maybe no, I mean, how, how are you plumbing up? You do that for like expanders and exactly the same. You? Yeah, because I'm not putting. I always thought you'd go and like on the, onto the bristle. So, like, the, mind you, is it with the paste register enough I'm, to pull your float down? Yeah, I'm probably going to put a little bit of line inside the paste as well, potentially. Like now, now that's plumbed up with it straight like that. Yeah. When I put my paste in, yeah, the line's going to potentially be flat. All right, get you. You know what I mean? My mm -hmm. hook will be flat on the bottom, depending what how it goes in the paste. Yeah. Which could take, what, two or three mil off. Well, that's about perfect. Yes? Yeah. It's right, trust me. So, feeding. I'm going to feed this before we even go on it. So, the way, best way of kicking peg off, yeah, pinch of micros. Yeah. And some of the paste that I'm feeding. All right, okay. What, just loose all in, little bobby ball? Just a little, like, oh, squash. Just like, isn't it? Just meh. Like that. Yeah, if it were towing, if it were deeper, whatever else, I might put it in a ball. Right. But this is assumed it's the first go before I've even fished it. Yeah, so I put my little pot in. And what about feeding rise? I suppose you wouldn't know that until you get fish in. You're just using your paste to feed the fish? I or? think I just want to feed when I feel I need to. What I'm going to hopefully get, depending on the bottom, I don't think it will as much today, is some bubbles. And for me, bubbles tell me yeah. what is going I mean, on. How often is it in silty venues, do you get yeah. that? Like, yeah. like them out there. Yeah, it's just a mess. But I've gone out there, it'd have been a mess. Yeah. But there, it's a bit hard, a bit nicer. I'm not going to problem. So it's how quick I get bites. But the way I look at it is, my bait is my feed anyway. It's always yeah, yeah, yeah. leaving a little bit and I want them homing in on it. I don't want them... I love, I love that. You know when it does that? Fizzing, all exciting. Love that. Look spot on, doesn't it? Yeah. So now, hooking my paste. Go on, Jay. Yeah, like first thing I want to do is I compress my little ball. Yeah. Yeah, and then once I've got it all compressed, the little piece that I want, then I make it the right size. So I want to get rid of like half of that. Yeah. So I want it to be about six mil pellet. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hook in, compress it around my hook, and just so I can feel the point of the hook on my finger, big carp there then. Go on, carps. Yeah. So I can, you know, and again, Go he's on coming the for the feed, isn't he? You're going to snare him, mate. So he's a tiny little bit of paste. Do you know what I mean? What are you going to give me? A six mil pellet? Yes, it tiny, is. Tiny, tiny Go little on, bit of paste. triangle paste? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Little bobby one. Let's just make sure he's pretty. Yeah, he's pretty, I'm happy. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is go straight over that feed. No, no feeding, just straight on it, yeah? Now, no feeding with it, because I've got a fanny about. I'd rather just go straight in with my paste. Yeah. And it looks nice then. So I'm going to put it deeper water, which was that way. Yeah. To shallower water. And what are you on there now then, Jay? What are you going to be on when it's the bottom? On a cave. You and Jay, a cave a little bit. But, see, I'm pulling on my float. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I know my, my float's anchoring. 
Yeah. And I know I'm tight to my oh, face now, yeah? Oh, is that all the bites you get? And you just see well, lovely. That's me being nice a bit fast. excitable, that one. That'd be me. I'd miss like my first 12. No, not 12. 55 70. bites. <laughs> Definitely. So what I've done straight away, I've added a bit of water to my paste. So on my side tray, I've got my paste and my water and my feed as well, my micro. So is that, you wouldn't like mix it proper at the start? You'd always have a little bit of water I have little corners, to... little corners in my tub. All oh, right, okay. Okay, and my paste. One corner I'll have a little bit crispier. So you can just I mean, a bit drier. Up. Another corner I'll have it a bit sloppier. And I definitely believe mess messing about at different points means... Well, is that you... just because you come through quicker or just how they want it? Just how they want how it, they yeah. How they're feeding, in. whether they're attacking it or being nice or whatever else. Yeah. Makes a big, big difference. You get little spells where you hook like five or six. Oh. Like I'm having a horrible spell now. That's two and two chucks I missed. Shouldn't be doing that. That's me being rubbish. No, no. It's not a thing, is it, folks? Jamie and Rubbish do not go in the same sentence. It, it is. just doesn't happen, does it? So it's I'm going to pay a bit more attention to putting me paste in. And this time I'm just going to have my hook point so I can just feel it. Right, okay. So I just feel it just poking out that little flat face on me paste. Same me a little tiny, no, no bigger than an expander pellet. Tiny bits, am aren't they? Uh, it is worth mentioning, this Wait. is very, very much a short method. Yeah, don't be oh, putting yeah, yeah. no 13 or 16 metres up back of it. Yeah, top five, beautiful. Don't go no further than that, you'll just have a headache. That oh, was better. Jamie. But you'll see so the type of fish. Then? You, you, same type of fish, you reckon? Yeah, what, F1s or summer? Green Crewies? one. That's green crewy, green one. Is it Thomas? Green one. You having it? Mm, Crucian, I'm going. I can smell it, it's a green one. Oh, you knew it, didn't you? Like you on the Thomases. You're just in your pace a bit different, but didn't they're you? They're the type of fish, I mean, little lovely fish. Is that, that actually starting to rain? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Oh, I love Thomases. But it's, it's some kind of fish, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, I'm not going to call them useless fish. The, they can be hard to catch. Yeah. Especially on muck when you're fishing on a really salty oh, yeah. bottom. Them little light, little bites and these they're far looking loads and anything, It's really they? hard to feed for them fish in the area that we're fishing. Yeah. Without overdoing it and getting too many there. Yeah, getting bubbles, nastiness. I, mean, I don't want any of that. And with this, I barely have to feed. Yeah, I don't have to feed every chuck. I don't feel like they're clearing me out. Yeah. I can get two or three casts. I should have really cleared that, cleaned that rig before I went in. I can get two or three casts until I stop seeing getting quick indications. So it would have been really quick, haven't you? Straight on it. Yeah, but ball. it's far less than what you'd feed. If you and me were to fish maggots or casters or pellets there, Oh, yeah. We'd be throwing all the time, wouldn't we? We'd be making yeah. things happen all oh, the time. Oh, Jamie, give yeah? it a go. Yeah. But see, it's nice, and now it's calmed down a bit. That Beautiful. initial feed yeah. sent them a the little bit crazy. Everything, aren't it? Yeah, now they've just chilled out a little bit. Getting method envy again, J Lab. Even oh, yeah, with yeah. paste. Even with pa oh. oh, nobody, J Lab. Nobody. Nobody. That might have been up the bottom. It's okay. But for me, this lends itself to. Partridge on a top kit. That's how they. That's yeah. how they all catch in the pea pace and things it's like now, that. It's now, isn't it as well? Yeah. So silty in this time of year. June, July, August, bit of September. Yeah. But how easy is it for a day's fishing? You can rock up, literally, with a bag of micros yeah. and half a bag of paste, that's and it, it can last you days, can't it? Yeah. And you literally get a bite every chuck, and I love it, me, that it's catch everything. I was going to say, would you say it catches everything, Jay? Everything, other yeah. than pitch. Pitch don't like paste on the curve. No. No, I'm having that. See, so chicken agreed with me then. The cockerel agreed with me. <laughs> Did, didn't it? That's like a crewy bite then. So I can just hold back on it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I know it's going deeper that way. I can just hold back nice and tight, wait for something a bit more substantial, a bit more positive. That's the next thing I need to talk about really, isn't it, as well? The bites. Even though I've missed two, being a bit useless, efficiency on this is everything and yeah. learning what to strike at is huge. What do you think they matter? Do you think that's just lines coming in, fish coming into your Yeah, peg? I think it's just fish moving very close to my rig because the paste is so dominant of the rig. I mean, it's like I've got a little plummet on. Yeah. Every time something moves close to it. It's registering, isn't it? Yeah, you see, little, as long as I'm tight to it. I mean, if I let it go slack, then they could be bites. Yeah. But because I know that I'm holding it fairly tight, they've got me float on the, on the wonk. The curve is, is happening. The curve. Like most of the bites are going to be that little just, quick. Yeah, so fish just a bit it. faster, a bit. Mm. So this one's took a bit longer. So it may be that I need a bit of bait. It's raining. Andrew. So drawing them back in again, you mean? Yeah, just to bring fish back in my peg. So that little bit of pace now is giving a little bit of feed. Yeah. But I'm a bit worried because I've got a really fine mix on here, so that could almost be broken down already. So I'm going to give it 10 more seconds. If he doesn't go, I'm going to go in. 
I'm going to go in without feeding first, just to give it one little. Because obviously, you, what you're yeah. saying is that that bit of paste that you just going in with that 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 yeah, bit of feeds a micro bit of feed. Just draw it? them in, isn't it? Yeah, it's enough. So if I go in without feeding and they're happy to eat it, then I get a bite. Whereas if I feed and go over it, it might be a bit scatty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. of the nature of the type of fish I'm catching. Yeah. He's not got any tails on over there. He's got no legs. What's going on? I don't know. He's got a body, just a body floating. <laughs> just a body floating over there, folks. Right, see how quick. See, if they're still in my peg. And this cast will tell what? me whether I need to Go feed on, or not. Jake. This is the bestest method for telling you whether there's fish in your peg or not. So straight in. And if there's fish there, they'll be instantly on it. If not, I need some bait to attract some fish in. Oh, yeah, look mate. at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so the impact they're eating. Stole that tight again. Yeah, oh, love that. It's a little baby one. green he is, one. Isn't he? I'm going to swing if he's that little. Oh, mate. Oh, oh he's oh, a carp. It's a little baby carp. How oh, good's that, though? You literally do catch everything, don't you? Yeah, but no messing popular. about. Go on, the populace. It was. It was like a little black wildy thing, that, isn't it? Yeah, I like that, Jay. It's just different. I do miss these days. I do, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a... At most venues, it's not a match-winning method. Do you know what I mean? With the exception of that forest lane where I've been going, because that's yeah. all little fish. But a, a normal lake like this where you're going to catch bigger fish at some point, you're not really going to clatter them on this. But it's a lovely F1-1. It's a lovely method for catching fish in the second and third hour of a match. When it all goes a little bit When it's a bit dodgy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And pace sort of the one thing. Oh, Jamie. That the happy Show eating. Off. How good was that? That's like Mate, nice, so isn't it? Mate, so I'd have potentially just... <gasps> oh, go on, the tennises. <laughs> They're just... I love them, mate. They are the bestest, aren't they? Love them, well, See, everyone is as well. Right, Nay so, old. Uh, I, I, I even forgot what I was going to say then, Jamie, because you caught the Thomas. Did you like that that uh, much? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. Don't know. Yeah, no, no, I was going to say, I would have 100% after you had them two that you missed, liners obviously, Feed some bait. and you caught them, I would have 100% fed some bait because to yeah. me he's not there. But it just shows you that is enough. Keep it controlled and beautiful. And you're not feeding in a minute. You're just bringing one in, aren't you? Yeah, I'll see what it does in a sec. I'll feed deliberately in a sec. Even whether I should or I shouldn't. I'll see just how quick I get a bite. So you see it settled. Get me float on the wonk. Oh. See that then? That was, I'm sure that was a Thomas. That ate your float. Well, you got, Jack and you have got that fish. I yeah, hope so. Of course you would have done. That looked like a pike. <laughs> Wasn't, was it? You pike. Pike fishing. Right, one more, and then I'm going to feed and muck it up and just show you. So quick, isn't it, that? Like it's nice, that. isn't it? Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. this bit. This is what slows you down, doesn't it? The efficiency so, of rebaiting. Bubble started there then, Jay, lad. We so we know there's still bait there. We well, can see it's fizzy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, man. It's a little bit of feed there. Go on, the bubbles. Go on, the bubbles. See, it's nice. Mm. Don't strike. That's a skin bob on the end oh, of that. Can you not strike it, that? That'd it... be me on my way back in with that fish, Jay. I just know, didn't you? He was a skin bob, You called it? it as well, didn't you? You it's called like... it a skimmer. Just wait. It was mooching, wasn't it? It probably had it, but it's efficiency, isn't it? It's a bad enough method anyway for missing bites on. So just make sure one's what had it. It's like still like... fish fishing, isn't it? That... Just... Hard part of the match, you're putting fishing in it, aren't you? Yes, not lots and lots, but and it it's doesn't good. like even like the hottest of hot, bright days. You're gonna catch this is how you're gonna catch this them, is the it? only way you're eating. You can even bring yeah, it shallow, yeah. but let's not get into that. But yeah, me paste so I've got two different pastes I've got a green one, yeah, and I've got a brown one on go. What? Yeah, just just to like confuse things. I think even with this, they get fed up of seeing the same thing, really. So I like having two, I've got them two different consistencies as well, yeah, because I think they just like different things going on. And I'm feeding technically a little ball of ground bait every chuck, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going in. I know the fish are probably eating 90% of it on the bite, but there's also just it's little bits little going bit in. There, isn't there? Yeah, like what have I just caught? Six or seven fish yeah. off one, excuse me, one cup of micros. Nuts, mate. And you can keep things going. Whereas if you were fishing micros and expanders or anything else, Something you'd feed every cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that, oh, that, Jay, lad. That was too dry, that one. That was my brown one. My brown one wasn't right. I just thought I'd try it. Is that another skipper, that? Another skimmer? Maybe. It looks skimmery, doesn't another it? Another popper, Dom. Let me nail one more. So all this with me 16. I said, that 16 is so important. And I'd, I'd have gone bigger up as well. So it rips through. It's yeah. Mad. I'd have definitely gone 14. Yeah. Well, you, don't get me wrong. You can do when If it was solid and you were feeding really freely, you were catching properly, yeah, I'd try 14 as well. 
but a 16 is just dead nice for it. So with these size of fish, with skimmers and all things like that, once you get really big. Oh, Jimmy! Yeah. Let me spell this. Is, I said about my spells. Yeah. Now what I'll do is mix it up again, just get another sloppy still, bit. Still fishes there. It's even fizzing. Yeah, I'm going to swap to a right sloppy bit now. And it may even get that sloppy that I'll start having to cup it. Well, this will work on all them little Bobby farm puns I go, won't it? Yeah. Because suddenly it's like, this is the a foot deeper. The ultimate method. It's a foot deeper than where... Is it the way yeah. you're going? Oh, I'm definitely trying this, mate. Go on, I'm going to nail one more. Hopefully, this cast. That's like at it on the settle, what? isn't it? On the drop What's on pace. Green it's one? another green one, isn't it? It's that yeah. green one that just like let me float before. It could be a big green one. Oh, definite Jamie. green one. I'm oh. quite happy just tickle on like this without feeding because it's like nothing's. What's nothing's the point feeding? Yeah, you are doing. That's what you have to get in your head. Yeah. Is that they're coming that's to that bait, bait quick. You've got to treat it that that is, it's as if I'm feeding that every go. Do you know I mean? I'm feeding one of them, half one of them. Yeah. That every go, that's all you're doing. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. So Love it, that. It, it contradicts a lot of what we do <laughs> when feed. we feed in other feed. ways, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cause you, you, but it's strange because you wouldn't be able to do that with any other bait. So if I were to put a pellet on and not feed, I probably wouldn't get a bite after yeah, two or three fish, in. in it. Yeah. I mean, what am I up to now? Seven, eight? Yeah. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? It's a lovely method for Quick all the, as well, the it? tight people that don't like buying bait, isn't it? Mm. Rock up with tiny little bits and have a lovely, lovely, lovely day's fishing. So I didn't mention that as well with... When it, when it comes to the float, I think for this, the normal style floats are more important because of the sensitivity. Slimmer floats, you mean? Yeah. yeah. I think with the buoyancy, if you went to like a pace float or a two mil bristle float, I think it's a bit too buoyant, a bit too nasty for it. Well, feel the resistance and just... It's just not as sexy, yeah, you, you don't know what to strike at. Yeah, yeah. I think knowing what to strike at is huge. What yeah. about a slim floor, like a pencil float, Jay? No, no. No, no, new, no. no room for any of them. No. It's, it's mad, isn't it, that? Just these, these yeah. have took over the world, aren't they? Slim, what yeah, do you call? Man. Chanty, styly floats. Styly. Done. So just hold that tight. So it's mad that they've even started having it like on the drop like that last one did. So they're very hungry today. So definitely, if I were to feed, they will go mental. Just like, get, feed this next one then, see what happens. Do you like to have a oh, quick go at feeding? Gonna, yeah. But let you, something's probably see, can, not yeah, right in my bait. So every, every cast is, what, 30 seconds maximum. Is that how long you think it would take for the paste to disintegrate? Oh, paste probably, like yeah. Especially I've got it now really fine and really, yeah. really nice. You just have a different cast, isn't it? Just in the, Very good, very nice. Don't waste yeah. time, come back in do it all over again. I'm going to feed this time just to show you how erratic they can go. So what I'm going to do, right routine, I'm going to pour some micros in, hardly any, a little bit of me paste. Yeah. Splat douche. Look on and watch how crazy and erratic these bad boys go. And it'll just result in a miss by 90%. Probably so I could feed in different ways. I could feed in a put a ball in and things like that to get it down. That's what I think I'd be forced to do. I miss one and just nail one Thomas. straight away. It's another Thomas! Oh Jamie. That's a bit like this, isn't it? We've been catching all sorts and now yeah. I'm just catching oh, mostly look Thomas's. At them. They've never been caught them either. No, never, ever, ever. Joint third best in the world, folks. Ever in the world, ever. They, they, they might one be, for you. They might be. Through nostalgia more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, It's like the most, like, wow fish when you're young, isn't it? Yeah. It's Tension green. crewies What's were the ones green? with the dead, wasn't it? In it. Green's got a little teddy bear red eye. What's yeah. yours, Richard? You never told us what yours is. Big perch for Richard. It's a good shout. Yeah, big perch. Always the, the well, minor species. interesting to see what happens now after you've fed that pot. I'll just catch a fish, just catch a tent. Do you reckon it'll be like... No, I think it'll just be nice. Be nice. They'll just clean it out, I reckon. They'll just wallop in it dead fast. But it's just a lovely, easy, oh, gee, lazy way of beautiful. feeding, isn't it? Yeah. How nice it is. Drop it and in. It's quick as well, isn't it? Because you're not fishing far out. Yeah, well. You could do this in your top kit, couldn't you? Yeah, well, oh, definitely. Really, that's what normally it is, top kit, top oh. kit and one. <laughs> another one as well. They're always jaggedy. They like swim up, don't they? I've had it, I've had it once on a Thomas, it swam up. 
straight away. Then it swam down that hard, it buried itself in the silt and got stuck. Did it? Got stuck in the mud? Yeah. That was on jump. Oh, that's a nice one. That. Big one. Oh, big green one. Hard. Just amazing. That's what this video's got to be then. Tent paste Tent. fishing for tent. Do you know why it is? It's because I've got green paste. Ah, mate. Didn't is. you catch a popular on the brown one? Yeah, it's because I've got green paste. Look at them. They're the bestest fish. <laughs> this is going to be the best catch shot in the world. I'm just going to carry on catching. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, we've had a it bit is. of a pay attention to the mixing of the paste. That's a huge thing. Yeah. You know, we're doing that little bit of prep that I've already done in the bucket, making my paste as fine as possible. That's my biggest tip in paste fishing, that. I mean, yeah, in fact, two biggest tips. Fine as, fine as possible and making sure it's incorporated into your shot and you can pull on it a bit, but not as much as big paste. Those two tips are with tea paste. You have a lovely day fishing. Awesome, that. Like that, Jay. Like that, mate. Here we go. Come on. Fill me net with green ones. My go.